started a couple of years ago when I was out here last time, um, and I decided over a coffee on a Wednesday to run the London Marathon on the Sunday. Um, so here I am out here again, and, and uh, I thought, well, it'd be silly not to have another go, really. My wife thinks I'm quite silly, actually, but it's a different matter. <laughs> to make it a bit more of a challenge, I decided to do it in body armour. Um, and the body armour's changed over the last couple of years. Uh, we've got plates in the front. We've also got plates in the side and the back. Um, and it, it is a little bit of a cooker in here, but uh, it uh, kind of makes it interesting. Uh, and I hope people get behind the, the challenge that I've set myself uh, and donate some money to this worthy cause. I'm very fortunate to sort of still uh, be, be standing up and running. Um, unfortunately, when I came back from Herrick last time, I had a, a parachuting accident, which meant I sort of broke my back, uh, my hip and my ankle. Um, and the doctors, when I got back to the UK, said that I wouldn't run again. So this is just to, to, to show them that actually uh, I can run again. Uh, I have been running again. Um, but there's a bit of, a bit of apprehension there, um, which kind of, as I said, makes it a little bit interesting. Uh, I think, as I said before, because they said I couldn't, um, is the ultimate answer. But it's, it's really just uh, one of those things that has been on my mind since I knew I was coming out here again. And a personal challenge that I set myself when I was injured, that uh, I would try and do it again. So, um, and, it's, and it hopefully people will get behind that uh, and donate money to, to combat stress. Well, I, I do a little bit of training in the evening, but I haven't really, to be honest, been doing that much training for a marathon. Um, but I'm not going to go off uh, very fast. It's going to be a, a very gentle jog, and there'll be a bit of walking there uh, as well. So I'm not really there to beat a, a personal time. And there's some great support here. I'll have plenty of fluids make sure I get plenty of rest and, and eat the right food before. So um, I'm just hoping that, that sort of sheer determination gets me around, to be honest. No, I think, they, I think most people know me think I'm a bit of a nutcase, and, uh, and this probably proves them right. But um, no, Ali, my wife, uh, works in a hospital, um, and she, I think she said, you are going to do yourself a, you know, a little bit of a mischief, but I think she knows me well enough by now to know that I have to do this. So. Yes, I thought I'd raise money for, for combat stress. Um, not everyone knows about combat stress, but they look after uh, soldiers after they've been uh, in difficult situations on operations uh, and looking after them mentally, really, and making sure they have the, 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 sort of the support back home um, because the, the job we ultimately do out here is not normal for people to, to go through um, and it affects people in different ways and it's just making sure that there is a, a support network there uh, and it's a tri-service uh, charity which for all the different and there are you know, people from all different services out here getting back to work I think <laughs> I've already been told by uh, my commander I'm on borrowed time so um, yeah it'll be uh, a short sleep and then uh, and then back to work um, but that's part of the job yeah. <laughs>